Breaking news, guys. So there is breaking news within the crypto community. The German ICO, they claim to be the first German ICO. Have they really exited the scam? Now, there is, let's watch this video. Hey, what's up? I'm at Safe Droid headquarters, but nobody's home. So, but someone is saying that they are at their headquarters and others, and that nobody is home. Let's read this. The founder of the uh, German based startup, Safe Droid, has, dis has allegedly disappeared after raising an e a reported sum of $15 million through an initial coin offering. According to local news outlet, CEO and founder Yang Sin Hanke apparently left the intention, uh, the intention behind his disappearance fairly clearly with the following tweet posted earlier today, apparently in Egypt. Thanks, guys, and out. You can see it here. And then, okay. Finance, uh, uh, finance magazine write that uh, several allow people to participate in ICO with five, uh, 56 different countries and they even accepted fiat. That is one of the uh, 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 amazing thing now. And according to what appears to be several only official presence that left standing with explanation is a subreddit describes several as building user interface that will make crypto uh, cryptocurrency investment just as simple and all that. And then you can see the tweet. And some other stuffs. Now there is something that uh, strikes me about this whole stuff. One of the first thing, if we want to do investigation, is Safe Droid. When I was doing investigation on this platform, as I when I heard the news, Safe Droid has been existing since 2015. Yeah, and there are proofs. If you go through this coin there there are proofs to actually know that Cedred has been existing. So Cedred is not just a kind of uh, company that came from nowhere; they've been existing. And there are emails that can actually check. So if you see the number of funds, number of funds runs five total. So you can see it here: April eighteenth, uh, you have fifteen million. And then you have a uh, uh, ve uh, version for January sixteenth, uh, and then you have April third, two thousand and seventeen. Then this is not ICO. There is nothing written here. And then you have the seed investment in June two thousand and sixteen and December two thousand and then you can see the number of investors. All these guys. And then you can look at the current thing. So if you do a little bit background on maybe any of these guys, if you want to claim that maybe they got hacked. So these are some of the uh, guys from this stuff, uh, from the Saver team. You can see this tweet from Save Droid 2017. You can go. Through, I'll drop the link. You can go through and see. This is the uh, uh, Savoid stuff. I don't know what is this in Germany. In Germany. And then these are talks they've been giving around the world. This is financial headquarter, uh, fintech headquarter. You are seeing showing Savoid snoops fintop ads. Talk with this and other. So this you can see, you can date this. Twenty sixteen. Talking about safe trade. This is 2016, even before an ICU, going to places and all that. And then they have gone to different places. Look at the seminars they are having. There are many there are many other info about them. 
like this now. Fintech Startup of the Year. Thank you for voting and believing in us in all these platforms. Now, there are two possibilities here. You said that something happened. Yeah, it could actually happen. Someone, we, we're living in a world where cybersecurity is really a big crime. So, there are two stuff here. It's either there was, a, there was an hack. It's possible for an hack to actually happen. Or they've actually hesitated. But if they hesitated, it's going to be a very big one. Why? Because we're having conflicting uh, issues here of it, like uh, this beer here, and then all that conflicting stuff is the website. This this on the website. So those are plenty uh, plenty of questions to actually ask. You know, there is something within um, the crypto space. There are people who join the community, and most of the times we are, uh, most, most YouTubers are under pressure most times to actually give the latest review on the platform. And sometimes what we don't understand is if you are researching an ICU, you're not only reading what you If I come to you now, I pick a paper and I start reviewing the paper, and I, uh, okay, let's. Let's go to this website. If I come before you now and I'm reading cashback, loyalty points, and this and that, you can do that. But I have to do an investigation in all that. It, it takes time most times. So what people want from most of these people, especially that do ICUs, they want them to be giving review on every platform. Oh, what's the latest? And all that. As you can see, here was my post I posted. This is how many blockchain investors are. Don't be a promiscuous investor. Every time we, ah, oh, this part of this is, there is, we want to invest in companies, we, want to, we don't care what the company does. We don't care if we use the platform. So most times, YouTubers are under duress, if I'm to say that, to bring you the latest projects. And, most of the new times, the YouTubers don't even do thorough investigation. They only review white paper and they tell you this is going to be amazing. And those are risky. And then moving on, we have our NASA. NASA funds development of autonomous spacecraft that uses blockchain. National, the National Aeronautics and Space uh, Administration, NASA, has awarded a new grant that supports the development of autonomous uh, spacecraft that make decisions using blockchain technology. So what they want to do, you do is they want to $830,000 grant has been awarded to a, uh, an assistant professor at the University of Accra, Ohio, and they'll be using the Ethereum platform to actually develop uh, this stuff. Now, so in February, Quantum a decentralized uh, blockchain platform announced that that announced that it's ever uh, first ever space blockchain node has been launched on a site uh, on a Chinese satellite. So those are uh, plenty of news. If that is actually happening from um, China, and then IBM and Sandu Mega, they, want, they are partnering. As you can see on the website, I uh, have Sandu Media, My uh, and all these platforms. They are partnering with uh, other adlish kind of non profit uh, consumption to actually bring transparency within the digital media uh, uh, domain and you know all that. So, have they actually hesitated scam until it is confirmed? Why? Because the company has been existing from 2015. They've been giving talks on different places. That does not mean they have no existed. Right. Things get corny every time. However, I ever sorry for that. I ever let's do our own research and do have a very good day, guys.